Hi there. It's been a very busy week, very busy day at the studio. Uh, more stuff is happening than really ever before, it seems. Uh, more sales, more commissions, more artwork being produced. I'm not sure why that's happening, but I uh, can't complain. So I'm going to give you a little tour around, show you what's uh, been happening. This is an item that's going up on eBay this week. It's my script and my rough layout for a tomb story that we call the Ice Shaman. Uh, I'm not sure which collection it's in. You might have seen it. Uh, it uh, is inspired by a book I read called Kabluna about a French nobleman who went and lived with Eskimos for several years. Uh, tremendously profound story. It was a profound experience for him. He had renounced, he was an aristocrat and had renounced uh, his life in France as an aristocrat. So anyway, uh, hopefully this will be of some interest to people to show my creative process. So um, as I first, so I don't always script things out first, but in this case, I, I wrote out uh, the story and then I came back and basically did small thumbnail breakdowns. Um, as you can see. And then I would create these uh, large roughs, same size as the original art, and uh, light table them off. And uh, try to show you some of the art too. There's some other rarities going up on eBay this week. These are things that uh, I had been keeping for myself and finally got to the point where it's like, well, why am I really keeping this? Someone else can enjoy it. Uh, the Clump Family Collector Cards. Uh, this is something I created a while ago. This is the last set that I have. So after this, there are no more. And if you notice this artwork up here at the top, another item that is uh, highly collectible. Yeah, that's a joke. Uh, it's going up. Is the original artwork for that? So I'm not sure if I have this listed with this set or not. Um, this was an early phase two experiment with uh, cut paper. So it's essentially a uh, collage. Um, will anyone be interested in this? I'm not sure if this is going up for sale or not. Uh, this is just sort of a North Pole landscape painting and it's done on corrugated cardboard. I got some stuff in here. Um, this is a Santa, my Santa Claus story. Um, those will be going up too. I had been keeping them because there I have a warm spot in my heart for that stuff. Uh, here's another one. Uh, these pages have been going up. Uh, my Super Clowns original art, and uh, you know, very proud of this stuff. And it was not a great seller, but um, uh, if you know anything about circus history. Um, it's a very rich and uh, interesting history. Uh, clowns are only a part of it. You had acrobats, strongmen, um, all, all sorts of things, and uh, traveling around and all the adventures that they had. And I've, I've read a lot about this, true accounts of circus, uh, circus life going back to the 1800s. And uh, the clowns played an important part in all that. They appeared in between... Uh, the other acts and made people laugh and things like that. Unfortunately, these days, I think we've kind of thrown out the baby with the bathwater. And when you do a search for clowns, the first thing online that comes up is clown hate. So it's become fashionable and popular to hate clowns, uh, think clowns are evil. Uh, everyone is now saying, oh, I, I was scared of clowns. And actually, statistically, some kids are a little scared of clowns, but not all the people that claim claim to be. So um, anyway, this story was a backlash against that where basically the clowns, this time uh, the clowns are scared. The clowns have something to be scared of. So I've got Slapo, uh, what are the other names? Wumpo and Floppo. And ultimately they have these sort of paranormal journeys, experiences, and then they encounter the high clown so that's pretty sacrilegious there. Not really, just kidding. But, um, you know, a, a supreme being known as the High Clown. So anyway, uh, I have a buyer for all these right now. I've been selling them a few at a time 
but uh, one of the buyers has offered to buy all the remaining pages. So that's what's going to happen. They're going to get them. And I'm happy for them to have it. I, uh, you know, could hang on to it, but what, you know, doesn't do me any good really. So, um, oh, this is another set of uh, breakdowns, story breakdowns that may be going up. Um, 11 by 14 drawings. Redneck Dynamite's a music project of mine. Um, larger drawings, uh, drawing a larger size, and then light boxing them off uh, to create pencil drawings. So there's quite a few of these. Uh, lately I've been um, still working on various drawing techniques, methods. Um, uh, I'll show you some here. These are illustrations for a friend of mine's novel. and. Um, he sent very detailed uh, excerpts from the book of uh, three scenes that he wanted to have drawn. Now, with these roughs, you can't see the initial uh, phases that I did, but uh, it's quite simple. Well, maybe you can. It's quite simple. Just oval, 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 oval. Placing the ovals, connecting with the spine, and fleshing things out. Very, very quick way to work. And... Um, when I got this to a point where I was ready to uh, proceed with it and light table it off, um, what I did was, in, what, I, what I'll do is in order to check anatomy and symmetry and things like that, I'll flip the art. And in this case, I light boxed it and I just decided to flip it the other way. And of course, the viewer will never know that it was drawn this way and then flipped the other way. They're just going to accept it um, the way that they first see it. And of course, the signature is not backwards, so there's no uh, no hint that it was done that way. So anyway, this is one of the drawings. Uh, the main character. This is sort of hard-boiled detective fiction type stuff, and uh, being bitten by this giant uh, lizard. A uh, girl shoots a lizard on the staircase. You know, and something about this sort of um, scene is that when you write something like this in in a book, it's like okay, you've got a a reptile that is um, like a Komodo dragon, which means it's going to be down on all fours. It's coming up stairs at a woman who is shooting a gun at it through the head. So that's easy to write, but what's, what uh, view do you choose in order to draw that? And um, it gets very, very complicated very, very quickly. You want to show the lizard, so you're going to take a low camera angle, and then you're going to look up the stairs, past the lizard, at the woman, and that may or may not read properly or anything. Uh, in this case, I have the lizard kind of rearing up in a way. Uh, it just reads well. Um, people don't necessarily understand the complexity of making a description like this. And I remember once I was uh, given an assignment and what they wanted me to do was draw a close up of a face looking upward at the top of, the, of a building and then show an illuminated will, uh, window in the building at the top of the building while it's also reflected in the eye of the person down below, which is essentially impossible unless you have some kind of crazy fish eye lens or something like that. So here's another one. And again, these were done the same way. Very basic oval shaped um, mannequins, forms, and uh, filling them in, fleshing them out, uh, having some different textures. As you might know, Explosion 7, the Kickstarter campaign ended yesterday and uh, turned out very well. Uh, this was the original drawing that's in the animated, uh, not animated, of uh, the video uh, presentation for that Kickstarter campaign. That's what I started with. Very quick, fast and loose, but everything's there and uh, just you know transferred it and it inked it all in. Um, wound up looking something like this. This is uh, recently sold on eBay and it's a uh, similar type of ink drawing. It will be in Explosion 7 also. So uh, doing quite a few of these, uh, filled up the book, 150 pages of uh, these sorts of ink drawings. There's another drawing, sort of a strange one from the old days. What are what old days here? Um, uh, 2015, four years ago, uh, with some day glow ink and uh, Sharpie markers and a uh, colored pencil, uh, kind of experimenting a bit, breaking free of uh, constraints and things like that. I, I would call this phase two. It belongs to my phase two work. And what exactly is that, I wonder? Hmm. Who knows? So anyway, incredibly busy here. 
uh, busy, busy, busy. And uh, thank you so much for uh, belonging to the fan club. And uh, see you next month. And feel free to ask, uh, requ make requests, ask questions, uh, anything I can do to be helpful. Bye-bye.